In this tutorial, I will walk you through how to generate a proper graph using Microsoft Excel 2010. Graphing is a great way to visually represent a lot of data so that the main point is quickly noticed. In Part 1, I will walk you through how to generate a graph from a data set. And in Part 2, I will show you how to modify the appearance of the graph and to add a trend line to your data. In this data set, I will plot conversion charts between both Fahrenheit and Celsius and Fahrenheit and Kelvin. I have a set of 17 temperatures. When graphing, you want to make sure the columns are set up as one variable each. It wouldn't make sense to have the data flip-flop throughout the data set. In graphing, the y-axis is the vertical axis and the x-axis is the horizontal axis. In many cases, outcomes depend on the axis, so choosing which variable is on which axis is very important. Usually, the independent variable, or the one you have control over, is on the x-axis, and the dependent variable is on the y-axis. In this particular graph, I will have the Fahrenheit scale on the x-axis, and the Celsius and Kelvin scales on the y-axis. Now when you want to actually insert the graph, you would go to the Insert tab, and there are a number of different types of graphs you, you can choose from. When plotting a function or wanting to see a trend line, you generally want to choose a scatter plot. There are different types of scatter plots you can choose from, whether you want to show the specific data points, or the line itself, I'll be plotting both. Under the Design tab, there's a Select Data option. This is where you can choose the exact data you'd like to plot on the graph. Each time you add a series, you can choose the series name either by typing it in or by selecting a cell, and then choose the appropriate X values and the appropriate Y values. Each time you add a series, you're adding a different line to the same graph. Again, choosing the x-axis values and the y-axis values. While the graph is plotted, it's not complete because it is not properly labeled. I will move this to a separate sheet to show you more in detail how to actually label the graph. Under the Design tab, you can choose Move Chart, and you can move it to a completely separate sheet. Now under the Layout tab, you can choose to add a chart title, temperature conversion, as well as titles for the individual axes. The horizontal or x-axis will appear at the bottom, and the vertical axis or y-axis will appear on the side. Now the graph is accurately labeled. When plotting a graph and, making, and labeling the axes, you want to make sure that the axes titles are very accurate. I could plot both of these titles as just temperature, and there would be very much uh, great deal of confusion between the two. But having the, t the axes labeled as specifically Fahrenheit and the Celsius or Kelvin, and having the legend helps a great deal. In part two, I will be showing you how to modify this graph and change the aesthetics and add trend lines to both of these data sets.